So, today, we're gonna sit back, take it easy, and watch our background artist do her thing on a background for House on the Outlands. So, the first thing you wanna do is you wanna take that uh, rough storyboarded image, and you really just wanna flesh out all of the uh, illustration and make it more closer to the style for House in the Outlands. So Jackie's just blocking in very broadly, more specific shapes and lines that she's gonna want, but it's still very, very rough, working on the whole image at once. So after that, uh, we have swatches for different things like trees and backgrounds and buildings that we use for House on the Outlands. And so this is just your basic uh, getting your color flats in there. And uh, this is to make sure that we get it consistent from shot to shot. And so we always start from the same colors regardless from uh, what we're painting one shot to the next. So a tree is always going to be the same brown. The clouds are always going to be the same black or purple. All right, so she's got the rough drawing underneath and now she's drawing over the top. Uh, for those of you who don't know Jackie, she's actually got a master's in comic art. And so she's just really comfortable here exercising a style that you would normally find in comics. A lot of thick to thin, a lot of bold black shapes, and a nice textured edge coming from that brush. Uh, that is the other thing. Uh, we also do have presets for brushes that we use so that even if uh, someone else is doing the background, we have the same uh, textured edge to the, uh, uh, to the brush's shape. And so now we're really just uh, branching off from the original drawing and we're just really discovering the final line work for this. In this case, there's the, there's the black solids and then there's the light areas and then there'll be the ultra white highlights that show us where the moon is. It's a really nice pen and ink style here where we have lots of uh, hatching that follows the form of the trees here. So it's really also important to show things that have volume, and so she's painting the light and dark edges and really getting a lot of the light shapes and atmosphere in there. And so between those gradients and the color solids, we're really making sure that she's got like a nice, rich, uh, detailed uh, front to this church here. Now actually for the main point of the shot, there's going to be a bat flying out of this hole, and so she really wants to make sure that we call attention to that, but that it may be not obvious at first. So in comping, we might light that up and have the bat come out of it. Now it's time for the other tree here. It is like cutting into a cake. I always feel like we're cutting into something just scrumptious and delicious whenever she's carving out these uh, shapes for us. So in House in the Outlands, it always seems to be like dusk or dawn or the witching hour, right? Like it's a very dangerous, uh, high contrast time where the spirits are really present in our world. And so we want to make sure that the uh, composition feels dreamlike and that we get just enough detail to figure out where we're, we are. And uh, uh, beyond that, um, let the detail kind of fade away into shadows. Okay, so this is an important step. Now that you've, she's kind of got all of her foreground elements, she's going back into the clouds and doing shape refinements. Uh, they're like really making sure that there aren't any weird tangents uh, or weird intersections between her background shapes. So she's turning stuff on and off and making sure that that all works well. Oh, and it's a nice starry night. So we're closing out the shot here and getting into final details. She really wants to make work on atmosphere and making sure that the details she wants most seen are present. There we go, just a little bit more on the tree, making sure that the moonlight's hitting it just right. And voila! Thank you so much for joining us. Uh, I'm Alex Sowell, art director here at Make, and I want to thank Jackie for taking us through her process on a background for House on the Outlands. You can watch episode one here on Make Originals. See you there.